Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the Imperial Austrian Campaign, where we are kicking off with kicking some Spanish cruisers in the arse, hopefully. Um, yes, so we have successfully pieced out with Britain, but I haven't been able to actually see the new, glorious new Austrian Empire because um, of reasons that uh, annoyed me. Um, yeah, uh, some, sometimes the game just, just just does these little things that are annoying. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to see what provinces I got on a map. Right, where are they actually? Oh, they are that way. Good. There they are. Right. What are we looking at? Ooh. Side turrets. A bold choice. There's a lot of weight that's gone into those turrets, although they won't have any armour because of the issue that I mentioned earlier. But all those ships should, should disappear pretty quick. Got the fix in, like, 1901, 1902, something like that. So, yeah, that should should fix it. I have also contacted Nathan Kell, the author of the excellent Tweaks and Fixes uh, mod that you should definitely, definitely try out. Um, a link in the video description. Uh, about the whole weirdness around refitted ships. Um... So I'm, I'm helping him trace what's causing that. Although, to be honest, I reckon it's something to do with the vanilla game. Uh, not his mod. Um, <laughs> just a hunch. Anyway. Shooting away. I should be able to deal with their light cruisers pretty easily. What's the armor like on this thing? Uh, it's not too bad. And they have... 900 meter torps. Ooh, okay, that's good for me. Is that the same for the cruisers? The, uh, the protected cruisers? Yes. Okay, so Spain lagging in technology. We'll definitely take advantage of that. Because even if we go on to save with the torpedoes, we'll still have um, better range than they do. There we go. Torpedoes away. Oh, they're still using iron plate. I was wondering why the guns were really ripping into them. That'll be why. Iron plate is uh, a little bit out of date. Spain. I know um, someone will have said in the comments, but I just thought of it myself here, um, about the last episode. I didn't take any um, ships off of the British, which I, I did consider, but I'd much rather take territory than a ship. Um, and ships are surprisingly expensive to take. Um, but if I've taken all the territory I want and I still have money left, then I'll take ships. Basically, is how, how I'll do it. Because um, I think it's fun to to acquire vessels. Diana, just trying to lumber her way into a fighting position. Oh, that torpedo. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> it's a 
just maybe trying to get into torpedo range, but it's so minimal. 300 meters. Still going. I think that hit a little lot of water in. Yep. Down she goes. Good. Good, good. Oh, should I have a look at the ship's stats, shouldn't we? Oh, well done to the Echo of Damnation. Okay, back to the map. Damn, I did think that this one might have been wrong. Um, but it's still not a terrible pickup. Um, I should have gone for something else. Anyway, we, we've got a nice little solid little block in East Africa now, although the French are attacking it, which is mm, probably not great for us. Mind you, our armor logistics up to 89. The French, however, at 100. So they're a bit of a threat. Um, naval invasion here, uh, two turns. Very nice. Um, and Spain, after that battle, sent overtures of peace, which I agreed to because they're locked out due to this naval invasion, uh, which means that should, as soon as it goes through, we should be able to peace out against the French, uh, the French, the Spanish, and then, and then, and then I think we go for Sardinia. Knock out the Italians. Yes, right, this needs to be in a hot, uh, full. Um, it really does. I need to get that back up again. Okay, we have successfully taken the Balearic Islands. That means peace um, should now go through with the Spanish. Um, I'll maybe try and grab the Canary Islands if um, if they're up for it. Right, let's have a look at you, Italy. Let's hit Sardinia. Ooh, Western Sicily is surprisingly vulnerable. <laughs> It's, it's 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 little. I feel like it's a little bit too early to go for, to go for, go for them there. But let's get going around. Um, oh, that can use a torpedo boat, and that's about it. Mind you, we probably hit it with um, a port strike at some point. No. Forgotten about it. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Ooh, a chance to score some points against France. Yes, please. Yeah, because if we take Sardinia and Corsica, and then we aim to peace out against the Italians, that means the French are going to find operations in the Med extremely difficult. Um, ooh, we're defending a convoy. No guns. Sad times. Let's go. Also, I now have the Mark III two-inch gun, which is pretty exciting. First Mark III, that means the the patchy here really should be coming in for a refit to get Mark II eights at some point. But uh, with a war on, such niceties will have to wait. And we will also have to wait because apparently the enemy has decided to uh, smoke up and disappear. Can I still see where they are though? There we go. Not on even in range. <laughs> uh, sometimes I really do wish the game would just allow you to access the grayed out time acceleration buttons. I know why it doesn't. Performance uh, problems, probably. Um, but it would be nice if you could just like click it and it goes, Hey, are you sure? Are you sure you want to do this? Because this is not a good idea. <laughs> 
Um, and then you go, yes, I'm really sure, because I just, yeah, otherwise I'm just sitting here waiting around. Pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. pew, 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 pew. Flooding. Good. Good. Oh, yeah, I really should be looking at this friendship, shouldn't I? Wow, they... That's a lot of firepower. Yeah. All firepower, no armor. Interesting. I see why they went Je Cole, because this thing has... One, two, three... Five, six six-inch guns on each side. Which is quite a lot of firepower for a protected cruiser. That's actually impressive. Are they all unarmoured? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Sorry, France. Uh, work uh, continues on the next version of the Dreadnought Improvement Project as well, of course. Um, it is now actually working. So if you want to um, test it out, it's still in a very rough early alpha state, but it is playable um, now. Uh, as long as you're on my Discord, if you don't know how to join the Discord, there's a link in the description of this video. But in, if you go in there, there's a there's a channel dedicated to well, actually there's a bunch of channels dedicated to the Dreadnought Improvement Project, but um, there is one specifically for testing. Hey, oh, it's a popcorn cruiser. <laughs> yes, there's one there specifically for testing the new version. And one of the nice th features that will be coming with the new version, thanks to Tweaks and Fixes, is when the developers update the base game, you don't have to update the mod anymore, which is super good. Not just for me, but for you guys as well, because... You don't have to worry about, oh no, they updated it in the middle of the night and I didn't notice I loaded my campaign and now my campaign's screwed. Um, which is great. And uh, to help with that as well, um, again, thanks to Tweaks and Fixes, the dip version number can be displayed on screen as well. Fantastic. Right, any more turrets going to fly off this thing? Yes! <laughs> Is that all of them? No, there's like one here. <laughs> but that that is a burnt husk of a ship. Ouch. Somehow though, they managed to get around me. How did how did I manage that? They managed to let them get around me. And get between me and the transports. We've got to gotta head back. Range on your torpedo. 1.7. Okay. So, okay, but not crazy. Secondary guns on the T3, please. It's alt to do that by the way. I was worried they were up to. Being the AI, they can perfectly place their torpedoes while mine miss completely. Although, to be fair, it was a torpedo boat. I'm trying to hit an armoured cruiser. Um, I don't actually want you to retreat that way. I want you to go that way. Try and link up with the transports. Now, that torpedo boat is pretty much spent. If not completely, then mostly. I want it dead. Before it reloads.
They're about to surrender. Oh, sunk anyway. Good. Right, then you can finish off the Katina. Pascal is withdrawing. Which is fine. We'll just end the battle then. Happy enough. 5,000 victory points. Not, not too shabby. Here we go. Spain gives up. Um, uh, Canary Islands were too much. Tano, Guam, no. No, I don't want any of your territory. I could take a cruiser. Mm. I'll take a battleship. Let's take both of your battleships. That seems more fun. <laughs> oh, you only gave me one? Boo. Hiss. Uh, oh, two port strikes. Lovely. Now one oh yes, we're doing it. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna invade Corsica, because we just port struck it at the same time as we invade Sardinia, because it spawned the invasion point on Olbia, not on uh, Cagliari. So we should be be able, especially if we send this fleet here, to invade both simultaneously, which uh, will be very spicy, very spicy indeed. Right, the Estrella del Mar. Uh, you've arrived in Spalato. You need some fuel and ammunition, but otherwise you are ready to fight. But uh, let's get some. Let's have a look at you. Oh, it's one of these hilarious. <laughs> Amazing. I love this hull. It's so stupid. Right. Yeah, of course it's obsolete. Um, uh, okay. We're not going to use ten and a halfs. And we're not going to use these six and a halfs. And we're not going to use these weird, other weird, weird guns. Right. I'm going to take that off. Um, wait, a mark one? Do we need to, yeah, press the upgrade mark. There we go. Cool. Uh, I don't mind using the 10 inches. Um, we, we already have old battleships with 10 inch guns, so that's fine. Um... I think does a twin no they're too big twin no too big also too big I might have to use slicks now single four no too big too big all of you are too big oh you meanies can't use any of those slots with that type of gun. Hmm. Even a two-inch Mark III. I can use the rear point, a couple of them. I can use those two, but I can't use any of the others. Hmm. Okay. Well, maybe let, let's not bother. Hmm. <laughs> I have to wait until we have a different, different 
uh, selection. What tower are they using? The three. That's the worst. Let's get a six and a three. There we go. Um, let's move this more here. Torpedo launchers. Yes, please. Including double fronts. Oh, yes. Perfect. Very Imperial Navy. Um, is this thing got increased beam? It does. Um, sure, whatever. Increased beam. Wow, it's so slow. What happens if we try and make it 18 knots? Oh, the engine efficiency tanks, but we can fix that easily enough. Um, I might... Do you know what? I don't need to reduce the beam. Let's leave it. Uh, hydraulic steering, halving armor, some actual survivability, uh, standard ratio of shells, capped ballistics, ooh, fancy, upgrade the torpedo mark, advanced hydraulic, standard shells please, I don't want to explode. Uh, 98%. Okay, less coal. Standard crew quarters. Um, want more main belt armor. I want more of this. I want less of that. A lot less. Um... I want more armor on the turrets. That leaves me 4% overweight. Yes, because I am trying to be... I'm trying to put a lot of armor on these things. Let's tone that down. Tone this down. Hmm. So I haven't put any I haven't looked at the case mate armor. Right. Two and point two. Reduces a little bit, but not very much. What about reducing beams? Sometimes that actually helps. Mm. Not in this case. Oh, come on. Must be a way to get four percent weight out of this thing. I'm going to have to reduce the mid-belt armor. What about to 10 inch? There we go. Not quite as well armored as I'd like, but, you know, especially when we get access to the mark, higher mark, um, <laughs> uh, secondary guns, it'll be fine. Plus, it's just funny to, to pinch things. <laughs> Go backwards in technology, <laughs> just like the Adeptus Mechanicus would uh, prefer us to. Right, let's get that refitted. Okay, we've got a chance to have a go at an Italian armoured cruiser, which we're definitely going to take. Um, we'll just try and get her with the torpedo boats. And uh, that'll give us some VP against the Italians. Yeah, I think definitely take, if we can take Sardinia and Corsica, amazing stuff. That's definitely going to be our our aim. Because uh, yeah, we'll be in we'll be in a pretty good position early on. Um, we've already hit the the British and the Italians and the Spanish. If we can hit the French and then hit the Italians again, we're in a really good spot for uh for the future of the campaign especially if we can you know get italy's economy in free fall um get their army logistics in the bin 
Right, turn around. Turn around. Yep, they're turning away, knowing that I'm coming for them. But, uh, let's go normal. Swing them around. Right, you fired. Pause. You detach. And turn away the rest of you. Tops off. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> oh, jeez. Poor old torpedo boat. Kind of a rubbish angle now. Missed. No. I don't want to fire at this angle. I really don't. This angle, though, not nearly as bad. Wait for the launchers to swing around. It is away. All right, T eight. Point blank. Go. <laughs> one. Second one's still coming. Oh, yeah. Hit midships. Lovely. Second one. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Vipers are all out of position. She's taking some hits. And she's clearly in a in a not great position. A lot of flooding. Two engines. Well, two boiler rooms. Out of commission. Ten here. Put some more torpedoes into it. Okay, okay. Closer, but closer, closer. The tubes are not aimed at all, so go. Gonna have to eat that, I'm afraid. We fired. Very good. T2. Boom. That might have just broken the ship. That's a lot of flooding. As you can stay afloat on these three after compartments. So, T2 might have to finish her off. There we go.
Nothing they can do about it. Boom. Gone. Lovely stuff. Okay, we have taken Corsica and Sardinia on the same turn. Amazing. Right. Um... This puts us in a good position. We should be able to peace out with Italy. Uh, in fact, there should be a peace treaty with Italy next turn. The thing I'm concerned about is the French are successfully pushing on Sudan. I really don't want to lose that. Um, so I'm not sure what the next move is. Tunisia is probably a bit, a bit spicy for us. See, the thing is, we're also successfully pushing on Djibouti. I think we just need some some battles, to be honest. So I'm going to distribute some ships. I'm going to put some, uh, some of the light to cruisers. Oops. Into the ports we just took. Like so. Um, the, the battleships. What to do with the battleships? Because really, I should be hitting France. Hmm. I don't like this. This concerns me. Would the battleships be better off doing just being distributed and fighting? That's that's what I'm that's what I'm trying to work out. Or is it better to to try and do more invasions? That's against the Italians. I really need to rack up points against the French. That's just a torpedo boat. Hmm. I mean, I could just stick the battleships in Saint Florent <laughs> and and threaten the southern French coast. That's an option. Um, I really just want to take Tunisia, though. Screw it. Actually, uh, how big is this fleet? 101,000 tons. What do I need to invade? Let's go for Northern Algeria. Let's not go for Tunisia. Let's go for Northern Algeria. Because uh, that just throws a spanner in the works <laughs> for them. <laughs> then we uh, take Tunisia. Because um, Tunisia is actually in the Central Med, not the Western. Uh, so we can launch that invasion this turn. All right, uh, there we go. Peace with the Italians. Is there anything else we can steal off them? Oh, they have another battleship. Yoink! <laughs> what class is it? Please tell me it's a good one. Yeah, you can have a torpedo boat. Oh, Britain's having some problems. Um Oh it's a it's a, it's an Alcantar. Oh perfect. So we already have a refit template for that. <laughs> Amazing. Love it. <laughs> yeah, just give you a free battleship. Sure. Uh, well, and Sardinia, I suppose. But yes, if we can if we can sort things out with the French. Hmm, okay, America, I do not want to be in a war with you. Go away. Uh what's this at? Oh, 56. 
See, this is what I was worried about. The naval invasion chances wouldn't be very good. Mind you, we can move these guys down here as well. All right, let's end the turn, see what we get. All right, welcome back. We've got a chance to um, shoot up some French stuff. I mean, okay, it's just a torpedo boat and some transports, but it is still victory points, and that is the important thing. And victory points mean prizes, right? <laughs> That's how it works, yeah? Um, <laughs> yeah, we're, we're hitting... Um, we're hitting them in North Africa, basically. Is my understanding. Possibly trying to get some reinforcements in. But yeah, if we can take more Algeria, maybe Tunisia. Mm. Really what we want the French to do is to send a great big fleet against us. So that we get a ton of victory points and we can grab some stuff off them. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. Nice. Should probably focus on the torpedo boat. Given that it's an actual threat. Rather than just free firing it to the civilians. But, you know, whatever. Whatever floats your boat. I think they did fire a torpedo at us. Yes, they did. Felden charging in. That's the way we like it. Firing both sides. Yes. Damn right you surrender. Seeking for the torpedo. <laughs> oh God. Hey, there's no such thing as war crimes in the Warhammer universe. Um <laughs> Orsung remains. She will be sunk soon enough. Oh, so we appear to be rounding a, a transport, which is um, cool. <laughs> More torpedoing surrender ship. Hilarious. <laughs> Clearly, surrendering is heresy. Um. <laughs> Yeah, this is a very aggressive start for for me. I don't you don't normally see in my campaigns me going this hard this early. Um, I might be making a long term strategic error here, but I hopefully not. I mean, we are getting a lot out of this um, early expansion. Right, uh, let's head back to the map. Remember how I said Britain was having trouble? I hadn't noticed that Ireland. <laughs> Is independent. Look at that. Um, yeah, we must have really screwed over the British. <laughs> yep, yep, we really have. We might have buggered this <laughs> this game. <laughs> oh dear, this might this might be map painter five thousand. Um, if we can do even better than the U.S. campaign at, as Austria, that would be hilarious. Mind you, we are playing on lower difficulty, but. Um, just stand difficulty. Right, 75%. I don't like that. I would like that to be higher. Let's end the turn and see if it goes through. Okay. Um, I mean, the game tried to stop me from seeing it, but thankfully Northern Algeria is nice and big. We have indeed taken it. Um, the coffee stain <laughs> that is Austria is spreading. Um... Yeah, I'm, I think I'm going to end the episode here, actually. Um, because we've actually achieved an awful lot. I'm starting to get tired, and I can't think straight. So, yeah, I think next time we maybe try and take Tunisia. Um, and then peace out with the French. I, th I think we'll manage that. 
my one fear is that an invasion of Tunisia fails, um, which could be a bit of an issue. Um, because what will probably happen is, while I'm invading Tunisia, the French will ask for a peace treaty again. I, I have said uh, no when we were invading northern Algeria. I'll almost certainly press agree, hoping that we get Tunisia and then get a peace deal. But if that doesn't happen, I can maybe get Tunisia in the peace deal. We'll have to see. But, um, yes, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.